good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Right now I am just getting ready. My mom and I are going to go do some shopping at Kirkland's today and I'm going to bring you guys with us. I am just drinking some coffee out of my adorable Good Morning Pumpkin mug. I bought this last year at Walmart and I seriously love this mug so much. I wanted to quickly mention I have been getting a lot of questions in my past few videos asking what nail polishes I was wearing so I wanted to quickly show you guys. These are the two that I've been wearing in my past few videos. These are by the brand LA Colors and these are actually actually from the Dollar Tree, you guys. These are only $1 and I have just been loving these. So the first one is in this gorgeous baby pink and this one is in the shade Delicate. And then this really pretty gray is in the shade Blanky and this one actually reminds me a lot of one of my Essie nail polishes, just way cheaper. Like I said, these were only a dollar and I think these are really good quality. All right, now I'm going to finish getting ready because I am running late. A few moments later. Hi guys, I'm back again. I almost completely forgot to show you the nail polish that I'm wearing in today's video. In this video, I'm wearing this really pretty Essie nail polish. This one is in the shade Tribal Textiles. And then over the top, I'm wearing this gorgeous sparkly color. I found this at Dollar General. This was only $1. This one is number 54 in the shade Gunmetal and I am just completely obsessed with this one right now. All right, now I'm really going to finish getting ready so I will talk to you at Kirkland's. Hi guys, we are currently at Kirkland's and I had to show you guys this welcome mat right here. How funny is this? It says, please hide packages from husband. My mom spotted that when we first walked in. And we are here shopping. They've got some Christmas decor. I actually got a coupon for 25% off my entire purchase because it's about to be my birthday. And I think I might buy this pumpkin patch sign. I like this too. Look, you can write how many days until Christmas on these little trees. They always have the best Christmas decor here, you guys, don't they? Yeah, they do. I think I bought one of those last year. Ooh, I see something that I love, you guys. Look at this sign right here. Fresh cut Christmas trees. I wonder if they'll have that light up picture. Last year I saw a light up picture here and I didn't end up buying it, you guys, and I regretted it so much. So I'm really hoping that they're going to have it this year. These trees are pretty too. Oh, those are pretty. I just bought a really pretty tree at, where was that, Marshall's? Yeah. It looks like it's made out of driftwood and I also bought a matching deer at TJ Maxx. They always have some of the nicest pictures here for Christmas and I think if you guys remember that old fashioned one I bought from here last year, I think I saw that online so they are going to have that again this year. I know a lot of you really like that picture. I love this truck right here too. I'll probably say that a million times, you guys, because I just love all of the Christmas decor and I am super excited. And I'm kind of thinking about buying this sign, especially, like I said, because I have 25% off. Oh, look, there's a little muffin on the pillow. <gasps> little buffalo. Muffin's nickname is Buffalo, in case you guys didn't know. I think I like these little trees even more than the other ones we spotted when we first came in. I think they have something similar to these at Hobby Lobby. These are 20, but I just love the little rustic look that these trees have. Look how cool these presents are. Did you see these? What do those look like they're made out of? What do you call that? Almost like that grapevine-y stuff? Yeah. Is that what it reminds you of? Yeah. And it looks like these light up. I bet you these are so pretty when they're lit up. Oh, they also have some right here with the plaid bows, you guys. I, of course, love the plaid ones. And then I also did see some of the Ray Dunn pillows over here. It said they were sold out online. This is what they look like right here. It says cozy. So they have the cozy one and then they have some over there that say gather. Look at these giant furry pillows. I always love the furry pillows because they are super soft. These little angel wing ornaments right here remind me of Victoria's Secret. These are so sparkly and pretty. They have some sparkly presents. Look how sparkly these are. I'm just loving all of the Christmas decor. I feel like every store we go to has their Christmas decor out and I am just super excited for Christmas, you guys. I always love decorating for Christmas. Definitely my favorite holiday to decorate for. All right guys, I did decide to get this fresh cut Christmas tree sign. I think this is so cute. And like I said, I figured I'd just get it while I had my 25% off coupon. I like this big one too, look at that one. That one's so big. And then I also saw a sign down there that I like. I pretty much like everything that they have here. Little plaid joy pillow. Oh, look at the little plaid houses. 
They have plaid everything. Oh, and I love the snowman pillow. I don't think they have all of their Christmas decor out because I didn't see the picture and a lot of the pictures I saw online, but they probably will within another, I would say, few weeks. Look at those big trees up there. And they have Santa mail, mailbox. And then my mom showed this sign to me right here. It says Merry Christmas. And this reminded both of us of Ray Dunn. We both thought these little signs were so cute. And do you remember how much those were? Um, they 10? 10.99. This sign right here is also very pretty. The letters on it are all sparkly. I think I might get this sign because this is 40% off and then I also have my 25% off. I also love this one right here. I'm still kind of in the process of decorating for Halloween, so I might end up getting the spooky sign. And, oh my gosh, you guys, this is what I actually came here for right here. This pillow right here. I'll put a spell on you. I am definitely getting this pillow. I also really like these jack-o'-lantern buckets right here. Oh, and this snow globe, I saw this online. So I'm definitely getting one of these pillows and I'm still deciding if I'm going to get this spooky sign. Two hours later. I am so excited right now, you guys. Look what Bill surprised me with. Some Krispy Kreme Halloween donuts. My birthday is in a couple of days, so he brought me home some of these donuts and surprised me, and I am so excited because I love Krispy Kreme donuts, and I also love Halloween. Look how adorable the little monster ones are. And of course, the pumpkins. These look so yummy, you guys. I am so excited to try one of these. A few moments later. All right, guys, we are going to try one of the donuts. Which one do you want to try first? Ooh, I don't know. What did you say was in the monster ones? Cake batter. Cake batter, yummy. Which one do you want to try first? Oh, let's try one of them. Try a Maybe monster? Should we share a monster? Yep. All right, we're about to take a bite of the monster. <laughs> and the sprinkles are going all over. They're flying all over. Really good. Oh yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like. Do you like it? Uh-huh. I really like these. Thank you for getting me these delicious donuts. Oh, you're welcome. You're amazing. These are so good. We're actually right eating. Right on the way home. Right, and we're actually eating one of these donuts right before dinner. Isn't that funny? We're eating a donut mm -hmm. before dinner. Dessert but you know what? Dessert before dinner. When you're an adult, yep. you can do things like that, right? Yep. And then aside from the donuts, he also gave me a couple of new phone cases a few days early before my birthday. So he got me this one right here. And I am so happy. This is so pretty, you guys. You guys know that I love all things sparkly. And then he also got me this one right here with the little hearts on it, which I think is so adorable. And one other thing that I've been needing so bad right here, a new memory card. And this one is 128 gig, which is going to be amazing because I'm always running out of space on my memory card. So this is like honestly one of the best gifts ever. Guys, we did hang up our spider web in the window. We hung it on the outside, but it's really cool because you can see it on the outside and the inside. And I think it looks really cool. I love decorating for Halloween so much. Look how cool the web looks, baby. Looks all creepy. Looking good. It's looking good. Also, look how cool our bats are over there that I hung up. Those look really good, don't they? Uh huh. I am going to be doing a Halloween house tour if you guys want to see that. That video will be up pretty soon. I also hung up a bunch of bats over here on this mirror. I think last year I hung up some bats on my other mirror too. I just think they look really cool on the mirror, and I'm still eating donuts. These things really are good. My house is definitely looking very Halloween-y. I just love it right now. Like I said, I'm wearing my flannel PJs because it is super cold out today. It feels like winter time here. Rainy day, so we are currently on our way to the mall going to get a Surf City smoothie, right? Yep. And to Bath & Body Works to see if they have any more of the intense coffee candles because the other day we went to a different Bath & Body Works and they were sold out. And here we are at Surf City, and I'll probably get my usual, which is the Super Squeeze, and then Bill gets what, a bee stinger? A bee stinger. A few moments later. All right, we just got our smoothies. Bill ended up getting the ginseng fling, and I got the Super Squeeze. All right, here we are. Please let them have some of the intense coffee. Oh, look, 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 it's muffin. It's a little, a little muffin. 
Those are so cute. They also have a bunch of Christmas ones. I kind of really like this one too. Oh, there it is. Plugged in. I like that one. I kind of just like the simplicity of that one. All right, guys, we just had a girl show us a new candle. Hold that one up. She said they don't have the intense, but they have this one right here. And this one smells pretty good, so we're gonna give it a try. And also, how cute is the packaging? Oh, yeah, I know. They also have hot cocoa and cream. They have flannel. So they have a bunch of different Christmassy ones. They have blue winter sky. What do you think that one smells like? Let's try the blue winter. Ooh, that one smells good. The spiced apple toddy. Let's try the blue winter sky. That one smells pretty good, a little bit different. Oh, look how cute this one is. It's evergreen. I also like these little baby candles. Those are kind of cute. Also, they have maple cinnamon pancakes. Let's try that one. Here are some of the little baby ones. That one smells really good. I really like that one. Okay, these little baby ones are adorable. This little owl right here is so cute. And this candle right here, Autumn Woods, this one smells amazing. And then of course they have my favorite sweater weather and Black Cherry Merlot. Those candles both smell so good. I think these are also some new ones right here. So they have winter, well they're not new, but they're new packaging. So they have winter, mahogany teakwood, fresh balsam. That one smells pretty good. And frozen lake. Winter is always one of my favorites. Smell this one, babe. They also have a bunch of new winter soaps out. Look at this one, it's snow-capped mountain. I feel like it's not focusing. This one is snow-capped mountain, and then they also have frozen lake. Winter citrus wreath. Toasted vanilla chai. Oh, they have frosted cranberry. I get so excited when I see all of the winter soaps and candles out because they are some of my favorite ones. Bill just found a unicorn loofah. Look at that, you guys. How cute is that? And then they also have some unicorn bath bombs. Oh, that one's pretty. Is that one sparkly? Yeah. I like that one. Oh, it has a hair on it. Yeah. I don't know why I always get so grossed out if there's a hair on something. You guys, look at all of this. Oh my goodness, I am in love. I think they might have $5 lotions today, too. I got an email. Look how gorgeous the packaging on these are. So pretty, I want this right here. And then this one is Sparkling Nights. Oh, this packaging is just getting me, you guys. It is so pretty. And then look at this cute little tree right here. Isn't that pretty? They always have the prettiest decor in here for the holidays. They even have this one, which is snowy morning. Look how gorgeous that is. So I ended up getting a bunch of lotions from Bath & Body Works because I think I told you guys when we were in the store, they were on sale for only $5. I ended up getting all of the new winter ones. And then I also had a coupon for 10 off 30. The first one that I picked up is the Snowflakes in Cashmere. And like I said, the packaging on these are just so pretty. And then I also ended up getting the Snowy Morning. And then the Winterberry Wonder. I am just in love with the packaging on these. And then the last one is the Sparkling Nights. And then we also ended up getting that coffee candle. I'm not gonna pull that out just because it's wrapped up and we showed you guys at the store. And then I also grabbed one of these mermaid pocket bag holders. I actually have one of these, but it's the silicone one that lights up. But I love the mermaid one so much, so I decided to grab this one. And this one's just kind of like a hard plastic. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's kind of iridescent looking. It's kind of blue and purple. When the different light hits it, you can really see. So that is everything we picked up from Bath & Body Works. Are you excited to try the new candle? Oh yeah. We still have some of the intense ones left, but we're getting low, so we need some more coffee scented ones, don't we? Yep. Because they are our favorites. Guys, now I think we are going to go to the at-home store. They have a bunch of their Christmas decor out, and we are super excited to look at all of their Christmas decor, aren't we? Yes, we are. A few moments later. All right, guys, we ended up stopping at Pier 1 Imports really quick because I had a $20 reward, so I ended up getting a gorgeous pumpkin. Here is the pumpkin. Look how pretty and sparkly this baby is. 
and this was on clearance for only nine dollars and 68 cents I don't know why but they were already starting to clearance their Halloween decor and then this was also an additional 20% off so I ended up picking up this gorgeous pumpkin and then I also ended up getting some spider lights so you can kind of see what they look like in the box it looks like the little legs are glittery the lady that checked me out said that she loved these lights and she said she actually hadn't seen these before so she thought maybe they were new I'm super excited to go home and hang these babies up all right and this time we are for real on our way to the at-home store hi guys good morning I just woke up Yesterday was my birthday, which is why I have all of these gifts just kind of taking over my dining room table. You guys, my family spoiled me so much for my birthday. They are seriously so amazing. I actually need to put all of this stuff away because I'm getting ready to film my Halloween house tour and I need to put up a few more decorations and get to filming. But I thought before I put all of this stuff away, I would quickly show you guys what I got for my birthday. The first thing I wanna show you guys is this adorable balloon that my mom got for me. So I am just in love with this balloon. It just reminds me so much of my little Madison chicken with her little nose sticking through the donut. This is the cutest balloon that I've ever seen. So thank you so much, mom. I love this balloon so much. And then you guys, I am so excited. I ended up getting so much Ray Dunn stuff and I am so happy because this is a bunch of stuff that I had been wanting. So I ended up getting a bunch of mugs. My amazing husband surprised me with Potion, Hocus Pocus, and Boo. And then my sister got me a couple of mugs. So she got me Pumpkin Spice, and this one is double-sided. It also has a black heart on the back of it. And then this one that says Fall, and then on the other side it says Y'all. I am so excited, so thank you so much to my amazing sister. And then my husband also got me some of these Ray Dunn Halloween bowls that I've been wanting. My mom got me this cute little Ray Dunn bag that says things. This is a set of three bowls, kind of like the other orange ones Bill bought me before. So this one says boo. And then this one is my favorite. It says hocus pocus. And then the purple one just says trick or treat. I was so excited to get so much Ray Dunn stuff, especially these mugs because I had been wanting these so bad. My husband also got me some of these Ray Dunn gift bags for my birthday. I was super excited about these as well. So this one just has a little cupcake and then this one has the cake. I just thought these were super cute. And then my sister got me this adorable little one with the ghost because she knows I love Halloween stuff. And then this one, I love this one so much. This one says, I enjoy long romantic walks through TJ Maxx. My mom got this one for me. Bill got me the donut one. And then my mom also got me this adorable one right here with the little dogs and the macaroons. Just loving all of my gift bags. I always get excited over the gift bags. This is so gorgeous. Look how pretty and sparkly this Tarte eyeshadow palette is that my husband got for me. He went into Sephora looking for a gift for me and he said when he saw this he knew right away that I would love it because it is pink and sparkly. All of the colors in this palette are so gorgeous. I am super excited to try this out. This packaging is just so pretty and sparkly, you guys. I will probably end up holding onto this forever. My husband also surprised me with this cute little unicorn cake. This is probably one of the cutest cakes I have ever gotten, other than the little dog cakes that my mom used to get me on my birthday. My mom used to get me one of the little dog cakes every year for my birthday, but sadly the bakery where she was getting them stopped making them. The person that made them, I guess, didn't work there anymore, so sadly she cannot get me any more of the little dog cakes. My mom is so sweet though, she did end up making me this adorable little cake here for my birthday and she even put some of these little ghost peeps on here because she knows that I love these things. And then she also ended up making me an angel food cake as well because it's kind of just like a family tradition on all of our birthdays, we always have angel food cake. Here is a little bit of a better look at my unicorn cake. It was kind of hard to see in the plastic. Look how pretty the pastel frosting on this cake is. Oh my gosh, you guys, this cake is so pretty. You are the icing on my cake. You are the smile I can't replace. You are, you are. Also, look how adorable the little tail is. This cake is so adorable. I almost hate to eat it, but I know that this is going to taste amazing. I ended up getting two new purses for my birthday and oh my gosh, you guys, I was so surprised and I am seriously so happy. My family is so amazing. So my mom ended up getting me this gorgeous baby pink Michael Kors bag. I had been wanting this for so long, so I am so happy that it is finally mine. 
Thank you so much, Mom. I love this bag. And then my amazing husband surprised me with this black Michael Kors tote. This has been on my wish list, I wanna say, for about two years. So again, I am super excited to finally have this bag. So thank you so much to my wonderful husband. My husband also got me a couple of bubble bars from Lush, so I probably shouldn't take one out because it's gonna get glitter all over my hand. He got me two of these orange sparkly bubble bars because he knows that these are my favorite. I cannot wait to take a bath and use one of these, especially since it's been getting a little bit colder. I love taking baths in the fall and the winter, so these are just perfect. And can you guys see all of this glitter all over my hand after touching that? Look at that. I need to wipe off my hand. My husband also bought me some of these really cute makeup wipes. They have little donuts on the packaging. I am so obsessed with these. These might be the cutest makeup wipes I've ever gotten. And they match the other bag that he got me right there. My mom also ended up getting me a couple more of these amazing candles. I think I had showed you guys these in my fall haul video and mentioned how much I love them. So she ended up getting me a couple more and I am super excited because these candles smell amazing. And I also love the packaging. And then my sister got me the winter candle from Bath and Body Works and she of course put the candle in one of these pretty little bags that they have at Bath and Body Works. She always puts them in the cute little bags. And this candle smells so good. My sister also bought me some of this pure Michigan maple syrup and I am super excited to try this out because Bill and I have been loving the pure maple syrups. We kind of stopped eating those cheapy store brand like the grocery store ones. Another thing my mom got for me that I am super excited about is this little kale tote bag right here. This is from Target and I think I must have looked at this a hundred times so I was super excited to get this. I like using these reusable bags when we go to the grocery store so I don't always have to get the plastic bags. And the best part is this was normally 20 and she said she got this on clearance for only $5 so she got an amazing deal. My mom also bought me this super cute little hummingbird feeder right here. This is so pretty. I'll definitely have to wait until next spring to use this because the hummingbirds in Michigan are long gone. But I am going to be so excited to use this because it is so pretty and usually every year I like to buy a new hummingbird feeder. Another one of my favorite things that my mom got for me is this super soft Calvin Klein robe right here. You guys, this is one of the softest robes I've ever owned. It's just a really nice plush white robe and I love that it has the pink writing on it. I think this is so nice and pretty. My mom got me a couple of these adorable little cookies. So this one is a unicorn and then the diamond. Look how pretty this diamond cookie is. Also look how adorable this card is that my sister got for me. I love that it says a sister is a friend for life. And then it's so funny she wrote in here, happy birthday to the best sister anyone could possibly ask for. And let me tell you guys, she is definitely right. I'm just kidding, but that was so sweet of her. And then she also got me a gift card that I can use at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, HomeGoods, and Sierra Trading Post. This is seriously the best gift ever because if you guys know me, then you know that I love shopping at all of these stores. My sister also every year on my birthday gets me one of these giant bags of gummy bears. These are my favorite gummy bears right here. I also almost completely forgot. My husband also did get me these three Ray Dunn travel mugs for my birthday and I was super excited for these. He did give these to me a couple weeks before my birthday because he got them and he was just so excited and he couldn't wait to give them to me because I had been wanting these so bad. I just love these so much and I am so grateful that my husband is so sweet and he goes out done hunting for me he is seriously the best husband ever a few moments later I just realized my husband had also got me one other travel mug and I had completely forgot about it I was putting stuff away and I thought this bag was empty and then I also remembered that he got me this one you guys this is dog mom this one I have been wanting for so long I just love it so much I am definitely one lucky girl my husband is so amazing you guys all right guys, I think that is everything. Thank you so much to my amazing family. You guys are seriously the best and you guys spoiled me so much. I think now I am going to clear all of this stuff off my dining room table because I have some more Halloween decorating to do. I'm going to be filming a Halloween house tour, so definitely be on the lookout for that video. I think I'm going to try to film some of that today.
Hi guys, I finished putting away all of my birthday stuff. I filmed my Halloween house tour and then for some reason I decided to start cleaning out my desk and I am so exhausted and I have no idea why I decided to start this because I'm the type of person where if I start something I hate to leave it until the next day so I always want to get it finished and I am so tired so I have no idea what made me decide to start doing this. So this is my current situation and I actually have a bunch of stuff behind me on the floor. So my office and my desk are basically a complete mess right now. This drawer right here is looking pretty good but the other drawers are still just a complete mess and there is just stuff everywhere. One good thing about doing this is I did find a photo that I had been looking for. I am so excited you guys. I ended up finding this photo of my grandma in my desk and I had been looking for this for a while so I was very happy to find this. My grandma looks so pretty in this photo and I don't know if you guys can tell it's in black and white but she is laying on the beach and to me she just looks like a gorgeous supermodel in this photo. I just think this is the prettiest photo ever. I still miss my grandma and think about her every single day. Not a day goes by that I don't think about her. For those of you who don't know, my grandma passed away a few years ago and she was honestly just one of the most amazing people in this world. My grandma was the nicest person ever and I just miss her so much. Another funny thing is a few weeks ago I was thinking about my grandma and I randomly came across an old Christmas card that she had got for me and it was just in one of the most random places so I just found it funny that I had been thinking of her and then I came across that card. I feel like that happens a lot of times though. I'll be thinking about my grandma and then I'll come across an old card or a gift that she had got for me and it just always makes me smile. Also cleaning out my desk, I found my old crayon calculator. If you guys saw some of my old desk tours, then you probably saw this before. I think my mom got this for me when I was in middle school. This thing is so old, but I still think this is the coolest calculator ever. I do need to get some batteries for this though, so I can actually use it sometimes. I just think this thing is so cool and I'll probably keep this forever. It just looks like a box of crayons. Even after all these years, I still love this calculator. So I think my mom definitely got her money's worth. I also put my new phone case on my phone and look how pretty this looks, you guys. This is definitely one of my favorite phone cases. I should probably get going so I can finish Cleaning up my desk in my office, I just wanted to take a little bit of a break because I am so tired. Do you guys ever do that? Start something and then wish that you hadn't? Kind of like sometimes I'll decide to like reorganize a room and halfway through I think to myself, what was I thinking? I also wanted to show you guys these candies right here. I bought some of these for my husband and he got hooked on these and now he's kind of gotten me hooked on them. I think my favorite ones are probably the cherry though, but these are just really nice to keep in your desk and just have like a little snack or something when you're working. And you get this giant tin of these for only $2.50. They have a bunch of different flavors. I think the cherry ones would probably have to be my favorite and usually they are up by the checkout. One other thing I have to do once I get done organizing all of this is I really still need to get this desk painted because underneath all of this stuff, there are so many chips and little nicks in the paint. So that is another thing that I really need to get done. As well as finish painting my kitchen cabinets, I still haven't finished that, you guys. I am so terrible. I've just had so many things going on. Once I get finished, with this if you guys would like to see an updated desk tour definitely leave me a comment down below and I will film that for you guys. So I think I am going to continue on my journey of organizing my desk and cleaning my office. So I think I am just going to end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.